I was talking with an Articulate Storyline user who was creating kind of a neat effect on one of his slides in his course. He was building something like a timer that was uh, showing the countdown time uh, that communicated to the learner how many seconds they had left to view the current slide before the course moved them on. And um, he was struggling a little bit with the alignment of the objects in his timer. So I want to show you a couple tips regarding that. What he had was a shape, something like this one. And his technique was to come down to the timeline and change the duration of that shape to be exactly one second, like we see here. And then what he did is with the shape selected, he duplicated it. So we'll do a Control D and then change the number. And then down in the timeline, he grabbed that new shape and then just changed the start point so that it started at the exact same time as the first object ended. So you can see how easy this is. It totally works. It's a really good technique and it allows you to build out this little timer you know, very quickly without much uh, fuss at all. The problem though is that, um, as you can see, when you duplicate an object or when you copy paste an object, it's going to appear um, slightly shifted. So it's you know appearing slightly down and to the right as compared to the original object that you copied from, which sometimes is not an issue, but in this case it really is because it makes it look like the timer is kind of creeping you know down and to the right on your slide. So what you can do to align those shapes is select them all, and then up here in the Format tab, you can choose the Align tool and choose Align Center and then Align Middle. And as long as you've selected all the shapes at once, they're all going to appear kind of stacked on top of each other. There's not going to be any evidence um, of shifting or anything like that. So now that we've aligned them, we'll just take a look at how this would behave. So there's three, two, and one. And you can see there's no shifting at all. So the Align tool is a really nice um, feature that allows you to um, stack objects directly on top of each other and avoid that, um, that little bit of shift that might happen.